most important ingredient in a rum cake. Is rum? My I thought, favorite. I thought we would have put that on the stove top. We have rum in here two times. Oh, twice? Oh, I'm about to get lit! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I like it. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in Sosa's Kitchen. Today I am going to be making a rum cake, but I don't know how. <laughs> so I enlisted one of my friends that's coming to visit me and she's going to help me. She's in Boston for the weekend. She lives in Atlanta now, so Kendra. Thanks Janet. This is my friend Kendra. Yay. <laughs> so how do I make rum cake? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is set the oven to 325 degrees so it can begin to preheat and we can bake it. Okay. Listen, I think I might need to do 400 because that's where my oven is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. It'd be going so slow. I'll do 325. It's preheating. What's next? Perfect. And then we'll start pouring out the flour. So we'll need two cups of flour. Are you going to do that? We can do it. <laughs> Two cups of flour. Is this flour? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. So you're Jamaican, right? I am. So, well, I already knew that, but just for you guys that didn't know. So is this like a family recipe? It is partially a family recipe. So because it's a rum cake, my family doesn't drink, but we make good pound cakes. So I had to add my own twist to it. <laughs> you done anything special? No? Okay. No, nope, we're just throwing the flour in. We threw the flour in, and then what we'll do next is one and a half cups of sugar. Sugar, sugar. Oh, I got that. Yep, we need those sugar. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, yay, women. <laughs> And that's the sugar. And then next, what we'll do so that the cake has moisture and flavor, putting in a cake. We'll use one box of vanilla pudding in the cake. I was wondering why don't we have any? Oh, this is from like scratch scratch kind of. Yes. Oh, I'm like, where's the cake mix? <laughs> What we're doing first is first all the dry ingredients and then we'll get to the wet ones. Perfection. Thank you. Could I have just bought like a cake mixture and made this? No. Oh, no. It's not the same. Okay, okay. Just wondering. <laughs> And then next we'll have baking powder. Baking powder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only two teaspoons of it. Two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. don't need a lot. And then while you're with the teaspoons, we'll have one teaspoon of salt. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. And then next we're adding, starting with our wet ingredients. So we'll get butter and it's half a cup of butter. So we'll start with what we have is the softened butter and we can just melt it a little bit in the microwave. Okay. Cool. 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 Oven's already ready, Kendra. We preheated it too soon. No such thing. It has to fully warm, especially your oven. <laughs> I'm glad you know. <laughs> so Kendra is originally from Boston, but we both met at Temple University. Shout out to Temple. <laughs> in Philadelphia. Um, but now Kendra lives in ATL. 
but she's single and ready to mingle. So if you know anybody in the Atlanta area that is looking for a girl that is black and educated, holla at Kendra. Annoying. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if you're the butter. That's not half a cup? Oh, you said, girl, I'm about to give you a whole cup and a half. Oh my God. <laughs> In the kitchen. <laughs> Girl, uh. <laughs> okay, two of these small ones is a quarter, or one is a quarter, so that makes half. Good thing you stopped. Good thing you stopped. <laughs> so now we're adding half a cup of oil, right? Yep. Okay. Perfect, and then we'll let it mix. Would you like to do the omelets? Yeah. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 Okay. It's on uh, the other side. Okay. Okay. But first, if you're using a stand mixer, you have to lock it like that. Oh, it's locked. Oh, yes. Okay. Now it's locked. Okay. I'm just gonna start at two. Yeah. Start slow and then build our way up. I'm gonna increase it. Yep, you can increase it. Perfect. And then most important ingredient in a rum cake. Is rum? My I favorite. Thought, I thought we would have put that on the stove top. We have rum in here two times. Oh, twice? Oh, I'm about to get lit. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like it. Okay, so in the cake itself, in the batter, we're putting half a cup of rum. Half a cup. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to use Bacardi rum and Kendra told me I couldn't. That is gross. So we're using so Appleton. No matter what, if you don't want to use Appleton, it still has to be a brown rum. I could have used some barbacore. But that's not good. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, it smells! <laughs> it smells like a rum cake now. <laughs> this is why you use Appleton and not Barbara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then just two teaspoons of vanilla, and we're in there. Oh, yeah. this is good vanilla too. Next one more. Two teaspoons, right? Yep. Uh -huh. I think mm -hmm. that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll mix it all together again. Okay. Let's get together. Rocking it. Look how quick I be learning. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. <laughs> okay, when do I know when to stop this time? Okay, so it's here all to the same consistency. No lumps in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. 
Mm -hmm. I never had Appleton. Is that what goes in my Really? Cake? Well, I probably had it in a rum cake, but I don't know, like just Appleton. Yeah, well, everybody can use different types of rum, but Appleton is my favorite rum. Okay. For rum cake. In life. In life, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it up, mix it up. So we turned up the speed to about like six or that eight. And I think it looks good, is it? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let me turn it down. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Okay, oh, I can do this. I know how okay. to Get it. You got no it. your strings. No, my strings. <laughs> Just using cooking spray, butter to flavor. I don't think it matters to make sure this is not cooked to the pan. And I have one of these pans. What are these pans called? A bunt cake. A bunt cake pan, yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew that. <laughs> I, stole this from my, I stole this from my mama's house. <laughs> and then we'll put a little bit of flour in it and shake it around so that the cake doesn't stick. I don't think I know what that really means. Okay. Mm. A little more? Yeah. I'll check. This is good enough, mainly just for the top. Or what will be the top of the cake. Oh, See got all it. of that excess? Mm-hmm. You can get rid of it? Yeah, you can put it back in the bag. Or throw it out, whatever you prefer to do. Okay, um, I like being resourceful. So yeah. Put that back in that bag. Oh, so you just need enough for it to stick, and the ones that's not sticking gotta yeah. go. We don't then want you'll you. Have clumpy cake. Oh no! <laughs> You're messing on my cake. <laughs> so what do I do? Just pour it? Yep. Pour it all around. Scared. Try not to get it in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's maybe just pour it in one spot. Okay. I'm messing up. Yeah. Let's, okay. Yeah, that's your side. That's good. I can't even see what I'm doing. Just turn it. Okay. All right. Oh, oh wait. Ah! <laughs> oh wait. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And then just kind of shake the pan around so it all evens out. I don't just pat it? No. It looks even. It does look even. Perfect. And we'll pop it in the oven. Pop, I can pop things up. You know, I you got can you. pop things in the oven. I got you right there. <laughs> awesome. So the cake will bake for 50 to 60 minutes. So okay, set the timer to yeah. 50. 50. All right. I like to use a. I was gonna use Alexa. You can <laughs> tell Alexa. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. This is why I don't use Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> it was me. Alexa, cancel the timer. 15 minutes. Timer canceled. Alexa, set a timer for 50 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. 50 that time you heard me you said 50 both times but this is why we <laughs> use the oven <laughs> Alexa just came for that time <laughs> the cake is cooling down but this is what it looks like so this is cooling down um Kendra said we will at least let it cool for an hour before making like the mixture but Kendra has to leave so we're just gonna start now because she's rushing me thank you Okay, and then turn on the oven or the stove. And we'll start to let that melt down. A quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of water. Adding a quarter cup of water. Ooh. This should be turned down. 
Don't have the stove on too high. Yeah, so we don't want the butter to burn. And then, so this is going to be a sweet syrup that we're making. It's going to ooze into the cake and that's where the rum part of it comes from. Okay. So we'll do another, just one cup of sugar. A cup of sugar. And we can keep stirring the whole time so nothing burns. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do half a cup of rum. But it really depends on how strong you want the cake to be. Sometimes I start out doing the full ingredients as I measure them out. And then later on, I'll play with it and add more vanilla and more rum to my life. <laughs> So we're just going to start with half a cup. I don't know where we'll end up, but <laughs> this is where we're going to start. There you go. Merci. Ooh, that looks so good. And we'll just pour in a little bit, technically half a teaspoon of vanilla, um, but it depends on how much vanilla you like. I like a lot of vanilla, so I'll just pour a little bit like that salt to really bring all the flavors together. Again, if you just want to measure it, it's half a teaspoon. There we go. And after all the butter melts in, we'll let it continue to cook for like five to 10 minutes. All the butter has melted we turned up the heat a little and then once it started to boil we turned back down the heat okay so the next part is going to just be based on taste and preferences so janet if you want to taste it and see if you want more room in it or less room now's your chance okay i'm scared <laughs> So it should taste like buttery, runny. I want a little bit more rum, just a little bit. Let me start out. So the thing is, you don't want to start with a ton of rum because you can't get rum out, but you can always add more. I'm heavy handed, so. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> She don't want me going to work tomorrow. <laughs> and then whenever I add rum, I also add just a teeny bit of vanilla to balance it out a bit. Thank you. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> I, no, I like it. Okay, we're good. So then good we can strong. Turn the stove off. What we're going to do is poke like holes in the cake, and if you have like a, a knife or even something that's round and small that you could stick in, um, like a thermometer, for example, something like of that shape. Um, and we're just gonna. Are toothpicks? Those are too small. Yeah. Um, oh. So we'll poke the holes in the cake. So if you're using a knife, you can poke the hole and kind of wiggle it a little bit. And don't worry about a hole being there because the cake is spongy so it, it'll fill back in like you just saw. Just don't cut all the way through to the bottom of the cake. We're just putting different holes all around and this is so that we can pour the syrup into the cake. So I think I have like 12 holes in here right now. It should be good. And then, little by little, we'll pour the rum syrup over it. Okay, 
So once you pour it, what you want to let it do is just pour a little bit in, like maybe a third of the pot, and then let that set for about 10 minutes so that the cake can soak it up. And then you keep repeating it until all the syrup is done in the pot. Okay, so how you typically cut a cake out of a bun, once it cools down, you can just kind of take a knife and gently go around the sides to loosen it up. And because this is a sugary syrup, it can get sticky. So if your cake is sticking too much, you can just pop it back into the oven for a little bit to warm that stickiness up and it should be able to cool, um, cut out from there. Flip it over and kind of shake it, wiggle it a little bit and then carefully flip it out. <laughs> and that's it. Yay, cake. <laughs> time to eat. <laughs> yes, it is time to eat. Um, At 11.06 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just go ahead and cut the cake? You can even hear it when you're cutting it, how moist it is. And now we have our cake. I'm about to finish it all tonight. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We are done. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It's <laughs> so moist. I was really looking for like cake batter to make this, but I'm so excited. Now I can make it on my own. Oh Yay. my gosh. I gotta try this at home. Let me know how it comes out.